Welcome into Hog Hype. Tyler Cash joined as always by Locked on Razorback podcast host John Neighbors. We will get to the basketball of it all, which everyone's probably a little bit more hyped up about. But first, we got to close out football season with the opening of the transfer portal. College football, now pretty much a year round endeavor. We've got, you know, it look. Things might change within the next couple minutes because it's the portal. It's the first week of the portal. It's how it goes. But for now, some big names. Chris Poo, Paul on defense, Rocket Sanders on offense, and then the people who are staying. The announcement that Landon Jackson will return for the defense. I mean, when all is said and done, just how do you see things shaking out for this football team? It's pretty crazy because you just really never know at this point in time, just like at any college football program. And I think it's just a thing of where no scholarship is safe. No player is safe. You could just sit there and assume all day long, but you just never know. But overall, I wouldn't say there hasn't been any real big surprises. In fact, I would make the argument that the biggest surprise is Landon Jackson's coming back. I thought that he would go ahead and go into the NFL and uh, maybe get drafted third or fourth round, something to that extent. He's an all-SEC player and a defensive lineman, but that may have been the biggest surprise. But Rocket Sanders leaving, I wouldn't say it's a surprise. It was a huge blow to lose Chris Poupal because you felt really good about him. But uh, overall, it's just almost tough to keep up with, but definitely a pretty big exodus so far for Arkansas. Yeah, and talking about Landon Jackson, like you said, third, fourth round maybe, but a comeback, put together a year's worth of games like he did against Alabama. Who knows how high yeah. he could go. Yeah, I know. I think that he could be potentially a first or second round pick if he has another great season, but uh, getting him back is big for Arkansas on their defense. All right, now on to the man who builds his whole team out of the transfer portal, seemingly Eric Musselman and the Arkansas basketball team. A couple weeks ago, I think a lot more worry about this program, but now coming off obviously that big win against Duke and then a win, we don't call it a big win, against Furman, now leading into Oklahoma. Just do you feel a bit more comfortable with where the team's at? I do, and I think that they have been able to overcome some adversity because of that fact. You know, they didn't have a great showing there in the Bahamas, and we know that they lost that UNC Greensboro team that they felt like they shouldn't have at home. But that Duke win provided a lot of confidence. And the fact that Arkansas was able to score the points that they did against Furman, who was could not miss from three, it seemed like, for a while. Uh, Arkansas, <laughs> yeah, exactly. They always have their record highs. But I think I saw the stat that uh, Eric Musselman had actually lost 13 straight games when giving up 83 points to the other team. This is the first time that they did it. So still adversity that they battled through. But the biggest question is, is that now they're going to be going up against an Oklahoma team that's pretty good, undefeated, a top 20 team, and a team that's going to be really tough to beat. And it looks like they're going to be without Trevin Brazil. That's a huge blow. He was SEC Player of the Week last week, and we know how talented he is. Arkansas has got plenty of depth and talent, but it, will it be enough for them to overcome and to win this game? It'll be another thing of adversity. They're going to have to find a way to get through. People, you know, you can make a lot of the net rankings now coming out. It matters in March. Don't, don't get us wrong. Arkansas, I think, down to 112th right now. Does it worry you at all? Does it matter? No, I, I don't think so. I mean, you want to have as high of a ranking as you want to. But at the same time, uh, we know that that net ranking is going to change once they get some of these quality wins. For instance, if they beat Oklahoma this Saturday, I mean, that's going to bolt them up into just crazy numbers and, and did a plus in there, too. And we know that they got a tough non-conference schedule, but the SEC schedule, once that goes along, it's going to get tough if they just keep winning, just keep getting quality wins. They'll work their way up there, but right now it's way too early. Just we'll, we'll see how it plays out. But the net ranking, I know, is something Eric Musselman hates. And I think that there's reasons to not like it, especially when it's coming out this early in the year. Yeah, he said in his press conference on Wednesday, really, at this time of year, it just gives us something to talk about and him, some, him something to be mad about. All right, exactly. Arkansas and Oklahoma, the Cardinal and Crimson Classic. We've named this game the BOK Center in Tulsa. Coming your way 3.30 on Saturday.